Not long ago, the Taiwan Travel Act was approved almost unanimously by lawmakers in the D.C., sending a very dangerous signal to Taiwan. Look, we are ready to promote remarkably the level of mail-to-mail -mail exchanges between Taipei and Washington. Now, it's not only just this Taiwan Travel Act. It, we also had the nine. The 1979 Taiwan Relations Act. Now, with these two documents, the so-called domestic laws by the United States, what do you think of the prospects of resuming dialogue between Taiwan and the mainland? Do you think the United States is really lurking behind and poses the real threat for whatever kind of reunification? We are opposed to the so-called Taiwan Relations Act from the very, very beginning. And there's uh, no change in our position. Because the Taiwan issue is a matter of territorial integrity, national sovereignty, and unity for China. So this is our core interest. There's no room for compromise. And we hope the United States will honor its commitment undertaken in the three joint communications between the two countries. What do you think of the consequences arising from the Taiwan Travel Act? What do you think of ramifications that may arise from an apparent uh, increase in the level uh, of uh, mail to mail exchanges? What about a warship to be deployed near Kaohsiung, an important port of Taiwan? What does that mean for the mail to mail ties? We are, we are firmly against any official or military ties between United States and Taiwan. We are firmly against any more arms sale from the United States to Taiwan. And we are watching the situation very closely. And then we'll take actions in accor uh, accordingly. And do you think uh, the One China Principle will continue to serve as the most important political groundwork for the two sides to have a whatever dialogue. I mean, without this principle... I yes. I think that that's the political foundation of the relations between China and the United States. So, if anybody tries to undermine this, it will have very serious consequences. Do you mean there's going to be a war if such a principle was to be undermined seriously, according to the anti-secession law? We'll see what will happen. That's a lot and of hopefully margin hopefully others will see day. what we will do. Fair enough. Well, Mr. I think uh, at least one thing is certain. One thing is certain. Nobody can stop China's reunification. No one can stop the process of uh, China's uh, reunification. Will it be the use of force or peaceful unification? Can you give uh, an honest and responsible reply to our American friends? Our goal is to have peaceful reunification, of course. But we will achieve reunification one way or another. Thank you so much, Mr. Ambassador.